Before installing, it's best practice to test your inverter by using the enclosed cables and the highest rated appliance you'll be powering. Note the voltage and voltage drop when the appliance is turned on. Determine the mounting location for the inverter. Make sure it's in the location that is not exposed to dirt or debris. It is recommended that you mount your inverter in a horizontal location on the floor. However, if you choose to mount it in another area, such as a cabinet, make sure the cables and cords are secured and there's adequate ventilation for the fan. Also make sure it's not exposed to excessive heat. Surrounding temps should be between 32 degrees and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have determined the mounting location, make sure you have the proper size and length cable. Refer to the chart found in your operating instructions. Connect the black negative ground cable to the inverter first. and then to the battery. Then connect the red positive cable to the inverter. Then to one side of a fuse or circuit breaker. This should be mounted as close to the batteries as possible. Connect another red positive cable to the other side of the fuse or circuit breaker and then connect it to the battery. Figure out your fuse or circuit breaker amp size by dividing the output wattage of the inverter by the incoming volts from a battery. A 3000 watt inverter divided by 12 volts equals 250 amps. If you don't have a fuse or circuit breaker, first connect the red positive cable to the inverter and then connect the other end of the red positive side of the battery. Always make the connection to the battery last so you don't have a live electric cable moving around. You will see a slight spark indicating charge of the capacitors on the inverter's circuit board. Now connect the yellow-green ground wire to the inverter and then to the chassis. This is not electrically necessary, but helps reduce electrical noise. Turn the inverter on. The display will come on and show the incoming voltage. If you do experience a significant drop in voltage compared to prior testing, your cables may be too small. You are now ready to use your inverter. Always read your owner's manual and instructions for additional information.